Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Right Reverend Dr. Derek Browning, the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. It's my pleasure and privilege to be here, and I bring to you the greetings of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. I spend a fair part of my life speaking, and also this year I've had good opportunities to listen. I suspect moderators and MSPs have at least that in common. I'm reminded of what my grandmother said to me as a five-year-old. Remember, you've got one mouth and two ears. Don't forget that balance. I've been thinking about the voices of young people that I've been listening to over these last months. Young people at our General Assembly last May and then at their own Youth Assembly later in the summer, filled with faith, filled with questions, filled with commitment, wanting to build bridges and make a difference for good. I think of a young man, let's call him Andrew, who has poor mental health and who just started visiting a Church of Scotland day centre in Ayrshire, where he was able to be honest about what was working and what was not working in his life, and at last had found a safe place where he would be listened to and wouldn't be judged. Young people I met in schools in Anstruther in Glasgow and Dundee, wondering about the many faith families in Scotland, wondering what differences for good they were making, wondering what answers faith might have to the complex questions of life in the 21st century, and wanting to think about this more deeply than some people would give them credit. I think about a group of young people from Accrington who were visiting the European Parliament in Brussels, challenging politicians who they felt had prevented them from being involved in deciding their future during the European referendum debate. I think about the young people in Ramallah who, when asked about how hopeful they felt for the future of Israel-Palestine, out of a class of 30, only four of them raised their hands. My theme in my year as moderator has been hospitality. It has allowed me to speak and to listen, to include and be included. In this year of the young person, how we will include them in the present and the future will be a defining moment for our nation and our church. How can we bring together different generations to experience and hope and to find reality and vision that these things may interact with each other. Jesus listened as well as spoke to young and to old. Churches and all faith communities have much to offer in partnership with wider society as we listen to them and work with our young people. There is work to do. Let us all get on with it. <laughs> 